It's your favorite YouTube dealer. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. We got some Post Malone and Morgan Wallen. I had just done my recordings that I was going to do for the day. I was browsing YouTube, and I happened to see this, and I thought, you know what? That's an interesting collaboration. Let's dive into this. Let's see what this one's all about. It's called I Had Some Help. Well, let's find out. Am I drunk? No. I think you're drunk. Hey, are you coming in? Okay. No, that's, uh, that's a co-worker. Uh, it's fine. It's fucking fine. No, it's fine. I feel like a lot of us have been there. And sometimes it's not even so much that you hide in some shit, that you being sneaky or anything like that. Sometimes it's just you dating somebody who is, is going to bug out over anything that you do. So you start making stuff up. You start hiding things. And what's crazy is like you can get in the habit of feeling like you have to do that even when you're not doing anything wrong. You have no bad intentions to the point where in future relationships, you almost feel the need to do that. And then it kind of makes you look suspicious if they start to notice that you're doing shit like that when in reality it's just you're trying to avoid the arguments that you used to have on such a regular basis not realizing that this person's probably not going to be the same way i mean they might be but until you give them the opportunity you really don't know but you're just so used to taking a certain approach to it because that's how you had to do you know what i'm saying now at the same time he might go in here and start feeling up on this girl i have no idea you know what i'm saying so that that's that sometimes is what's happening too but it goes both ways Okay, this a whole vibe. Let me go back real quick. Like, Yo, post cooking. You're telling all your friends that I'm crazy, like I'm the only one. Why'd you throw them stones if you had a wild hair of your own too? Living in your big glass house with the view. I thought you knew. I like how we put that because he's like, listen, don't act like you ain't helped me pull that bottle off the shelf. Like, yeah, I might be going out drinking and you know what I'm saying? But like you helped me get to this point. Like you're the one that helped get me here. Don't be telling all your friends that I'm crazy. Like I'm the only one. Like you got a part in this too. I ain't make this mess all by myself. I like, yo, this shit, this is real right here. I can, I can relate with this because I'll be real with you. Like that, whoo, stop playing with me. <laughs> you thought I'd take Yo, this is a vibe. You know what's crazy though is as much as this is real, you know there's gonna be some people out there that are gonna use this and, and, and like, yo, th th this song is gonna, what do I wanna say? Like, it, it's gonna justify them doing some of the stuff they did. Like, now, nah, see, you did it too. You did it too. When in some situations, it really is one-sided. It's like, 
they're not really doing anything crazy, but you're perceiving it as that way because you want something to be your way or, you know what I'm saying? And then you start going this other direction. Plus, I also feel like, you know, if you get to the point where you drinking and you and like shit start getting messy and stuff like that, it's it's responsibility of both people to probably get out of that situation. But does that ever happen? Not really. You know, not necessarily, but I can even say like in my past relationship, it's like, I always try to put some blame on myself. I always try to take some blame and be like, you know what? Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I approached this wrong. Maybe I, you know what I'm saying? But in all reality, like in the one that, that got a little crazy, I wasn't the one that was lying. I wasn't like, I was very straightforward about what was happening. Whereas the other person wasn't, but yet they would tell their friends like, yo, he's, he's doing this. He's doing da 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 to the point where they looking at me funny. Like I'm acting up and doing crazy shit. And I'm like, yo, I like what? Like, I'm not doing anything crazy at all. I'm literally questioning things that I have determined to be a lie. And when I say determined, I don't mean I'm just guessing. I mean, I can prove is a lie. If if I'm if I'm actually needed to and, and given the chance, I can prove it. So I'm just questioning and not even in an aggressive way. Like, what? so what's happening? Like, what's going on? Why is this working out this way? Why is this happening? You know what I'm saying? Like, we can sit down and talk about it. I'm an extremely understanding person. Like, that's the way I was approaching it. But yeah, I'm seeing that based on what's being told to the friends, they looking at me like I'm bugging and I like that shit, you know, it happens. It definitely happens. So you gotta, you gotta be careful out here. Some of these people be, be wilding. My man said. <laughs> Yo, that was that was actually a vibe. I'm very happy that I decided to dive into this. This this shit. Yo, that shit hit. That shit hit. I'm gonna need some more post Malone and Morgan Wallen. We might need a little like EP, little four or five song thingy. You know what I mean? I'm here for it. Let me know what you guys thought about it down below. Yeah, it's a, I don't know, it's an interesting situation. Like there's there's a lot of different things that go down in relationships that are unfortunate, right? And and I always try at least now. When I was younger, I feel like I was way more like when I say aggressive, like I it wasn't like physically aggressive, but just aggressive in the sense that like I would just engage in these arguments that were completely pointless. And as I've gotten older, I've tried to get away from that and more so just like sit down and be like, "Oh, let's just have a discussion, right? Like there's something that we need to talk about." And I understand that maybe it's something that you're not comfortable discussing, but you're you're lying about something, right? And so that and that lie affects me. And so at some point, if not now, sometimes very soon in the future, we need to sit down and have this discussion when you're ready to have it. And I can understand, like just I just need to get uh, your perspective on what it is that you're lying about, why you're lying, and you know what I mean. And, and we can work through this because maybe there's some reasons, maybe there's a way that you're looking at it or something that's going on that I'm unaware of, and that could be the difference. Like that was kind of what my approach was. But when that didn't work, I'm not going to lie and sit here and say that I just kept it going. Like eventually it got to the point where then arguments did start to arise and, and more accusations or aggress. You know what I mean? Like it started to happen because it's like, yo, I tried the calm way so much and I just kept getting led down this path instead of us being like, you know what, let's go back and go the right way. And you know, eventually you get tired of it. But I do, I put the blame on myself for not being like, you know what, let me separate from this because clearly some shit ain't right. You know what I'm saying? So in that sense, I put the blame on myself. But anyways, I had some help. Sometimes we all do. Appreciate you. Take it easy. Stay safe. I'll catch you in the next one, homie.